Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Welcome to this class which is about types of chemical reactions part 1. Why I said it part 1? Because you know that in the ASC chemistry the chapter uh, belongs to the playlist here is uh, about chemical reactions ASC chemistry and in this chapter there are some several types of chemical reactions that should be understand uh, properly and so that I'm just trying to upload this video about part 1 and the next video I shall be explaining about neutralization reactions, precipitation reaction and the next another video uh, I shall explain about some special type of reaction like hydrations, hyd uh, hydrolysis, isomerizations and polymerizations. Now think about these four different types of reactions. The first one is addition reactions and in this case we need to study about synthesis. And also you see, number 2 is decomposition reaction, number 3 is substitution or displacement, and number 4 is combustions or burning. Well, I hope that those are watching this video, you might think this is very easy. Of course this is easy. I mean, if you understand the concept, it's easy. When you don't understand, then it seems tougher. Now think about addition reaction. What is addition? Addition, I mean, the name itself expresses the type of reactions when two or three elements or compounds combines together to form a new elements or new compounds then it's called addition reaction so what is addition reaction something is combining so that sort of like combination is going on so when two or three molecules or compounds forming together that is called the addition reaction like what like if you think that hydrogen gas and chlorine gas is forming together and they're producing hydrogen chloride that is also a addition reaction but think about another like this is calcium oxide and this is carbon dioxide so this calcium oxide and carbon dioxide is forming limestone. You know it already that this is actually lime and this is limestone. And of course, one thing also important that when you see that this is lime and mixed with water, then it is actually becoming calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide. So you can see that when solid lime is reacting with liquid water then it's producing calcium hydroxide in these reactions what you can see we see that two elements joining to form another compounds two elements joining to form another compounds and this is single compounds now there is simple differences in between these or suppose if you add hydrogen and oxygen then it's producing water so we can say that what are the differences the differences is here you see this is molecules is not compounds hydrogen molecule and chlorine molecule they are combined together and then they're forming these compounds when I mean, we know that from the addition reactions that all the compounds will be formed with the help of two or three elements or compounds. All these reactions are addition reactions, but there is synthesis reactions. It means that when two molecules will add, only molecules will add to form a compounds, that is called synthesis. But when compounds and compounds are forming together, then that is only addition reactions. So we can say that all the synthesis reactions is addition reactions, but not all additions are synthesis. Because these addition reactions is only addition reactions, but not the synthesis, because these are not molecules, these are actually the compounds. So when only molecules and single molecules diatomic molecules is formed together and then they are producing a compound this is called synthesis all these reactions is called addition so what is addition reaction when two or more than two elements or compounds combine together and will form another compounds 
that is called additions. Among them, this is called synthesis because only molecules are together. So we can say all the addition are synthesis. Sorry, all the synthesis are addition, but not the synthesis are addition because this is the synthesis plus addition, but this one and this one is only addition, not the synthesis. Now think reversibly. In case of reverse thinking, like what is the process? I mean, if we say that what you can do in, in case of uh, in case of decomposition reaction, think about the decomposition reaction. It's just the opposite of addition reaction. Just opposite of addition reactions. What is the opposition means? Suppose if if calcium carbonate is being heated, is being heated, and then what will happen? It will break down into limestone, I mean, I mean lime and carbon dioxide. So what are the difference between the previous one and this one? Think about water. If if we make a hydrolysis or electrolysis, you can say that electrolysis, not the hydrolysis, electrolysis, then what will happen? Electrolysis, hydrogen and oxygen will be produced. So we can say, or even phosphorus pentachloride, when it will be heated, then phosphorus trichloride and chlorine will be producing. So what is the differences between the additions and, and decomposition reaction? That means previously two or three molecules or compounds combined together to form a single compound. And right now, another compound will be breaking down into two or three molecules or compounds. That is the only differences. I mean, this is just opposite. I mean, the first one is combination and the second one is breaking down. So when a compound will be breaking down into two or three molecules or compounds, this is called decomposition. Okay? Very easy. And there are a lot of examples. I'm just giving you a simple hint to you that you people are very talented. You know that uh, there are sort of like different, different variations in case of reactions. You also know it. But from my side, I'm just making it clear that what is the de decomposition reactions concept. Think about the substitution or displacement. It's all about what, suppose this is zinc and it's reacting with sulfuric acid which is very known reactions here so what will be the productions zinc now is more reactive than hydrogen so now it can substitute hydrogen and can add with sulfate to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen so as zinc has power as it is more reactive than hydrogen. Now the question is how we can understand who is more reactive from what? And it's all about the reactivity series of metal. And it will be discussed later on when I'll explain about the fossil fuel chapters and the metal extractions. On that chapter, we will know that what are the reactivity series or even you can search on Google to see that what are the more active metals and what are the series. This is called reactivity series of metal. Okay, so is about that in that series we know that zinc is more reactive than hydrogen and it can easily substitute hydrogen and form something like that. Or even you can see in case of sodium also, if it is um, reacting with sulfuric acid, similarly sodium can replace hydrogen, it can produce sodium sulfate and hydrogen will be substituted. So substituted by what? Sodium as because sodium is more reactive than hydrogen. So that is called substitution or displacement reactor. I mean, I mean one molecule or one radical, radical or molecule will substitute or displace another molecule or radicals and put the place to form a new compounds that is called substitution reactions or displacement. Okay, and lastly, in this tutorial, I'll talk about the combustion reaction, which is, which is actually the burning. I and mean, when when compounds or molecules is oxidized, 
or it burns with, with the help of atmospheric environment, atmospheric oxygen, and it produce oxides. It's known as combustion or combustion reactions. So, what about the combustion reactions? When a molecules or any compounds or in metals or non-metals, whatever, anything will be burned with the help of atmospheric oxygen that is known as combustion reaction. Like what? Like we know about we know about magnesium, very well known. And if it reacts with oxygen, then what will be the productions? That is magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide. And again, if you see about calcium and oxygen, then it will produce calcium oxide. You think about sulfur, it will produce sulfur dioxide. Think about carbon, whatever. Anything that will work with phosphorus, then it will uh, produce phosphorus oxide, magnesium oxide, calcium oxide, whatever. The metals and non metals that is burned with the presence of atmospheric oxygen and will produce oxides, this is called combustions. And also, you can say this is one type of additions. So two molecules is added together to form a new compounds that is called addition. And once you can see this is a molecule, this is a molecule. This can be synthesis also. Now you see that actually what is the combustion reactions. The combustion means this is metal, metal, non-metal, 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 whatever. Anything. Even I mean even sulfur dioxide. But sulfur dioxide is reacting with oxygen, though it's a very critical thing that a lot of things is required here, is producing sulfur trioxide. But in this case, what's happening that these metals and non-metals are reacting with oxygens. So this is actually environmental oxygens. So when something is burned, that means it will evolve some sort of heat energy. So after the reactions, what will be happening? Like if you see something burning coals, and producing huge amount of smoke like carbon dioxide that is burning of coal it's a burning I mean combustion reaction that something is reacting with oxygen so this is a very short description about the type of reactions here I'm just only explaining about additions reactions decompositions substitution and combustions I hope you understand well and of course in case of reaction practice do it with your own hand in your paper so that you can see and also the state the state of the molecule I didn't write everything but there are some like S for solid G for gas L for liquid a Q for aqueous and CONC for concentrated and DL for diluted so these are the state of the reactant that will be described later on but I know that some of you may know this these sort of states of the reactant and also is written in a smaller one as a subscript into the first bracket that is the state of the reactant and product so this is all about this type four types of reactions and coming up with the next video uh, regarding the precipitation reaction and neutralization reaction and this is very important uh, so see you next class take care stay well and write me in the comment sections that is feeling and do you really understand and what is your next demand so that i can adjust it on the next class so take care